It's hard to believe that behind these soothing notes, professional musician Sandy Jo Melman is in pain, a pain that was diagnosed 14 years ago as arthritis in her knees. I started having pain in both knees, actually. And the reason that that was obvious to me is because I'm a cellist. And sitting is, you're sitting at the cello in a forward position so that your legs are apart, but you're bent. Many parts of her life became more difficult over time. Traveling, sleeping, even just walking. I was walking with a cane and that limits everything. You know, I have a lot of years ahead of me. I wanna be able to do things, you know. Sandy Joe would become one of the 600,000 people in the U.S. to need a knee replacement surgery. There's an enlarging group of people that are kind of hitting that 60 to 70 year old range. Uh, we are seeing a predicted significant increase in the number of people in America that have arthritis that has gotten severe to the point that they would potentially meet indications for surgery. In a Massachusetts first, Dr. Jeff Zarin will try an innovative type of full knee replacement surgery on Sandy Joe. He'll use MAKO robotic arm assisted technology to allow the new joint to be placed with a new level of accuracy. There are a variety of robotic assisted technologies currently available to assist with how we do joint replacement. But the MAKO itself represents a, an evolution, an emerging of several technologies in a way we haven't really had before, um, in that it is basically a robot arm that kind of holds the instrument along with me in the operating room. So it helps me perform the surgery very accurately. The robot has a little tracking eyes that see where the leg is in space. So if the leg moves, the robot knows that. Even if it moves a tiny little bit, the robot knows it moved a tiny little bit and it will adjust for that. We know where we are in space relative to the... Not only is the robot precise, but prior to surgery, a scan of the patient's knee is taken to create a virtual model of the specific patient's joint. It creates this 3D representation of the patient's knee or hip, and then we can, before we even do the surgery, virtually put the implants in place as to where they would be. All that stuff can be done on the front end virtually, and then once we're satisfied with how things line up and look like they're gonna be, then the robot helps me very precisely implement that plan and do the surgery for the patient, specifically exactly to those criteria. One year later, Sandy Joe is doing great. I'm able to do pretty much everything. I walk about seven miles a day. I was just um, on a trip and it was significant for me to, to walk on cobblestones even. Do you forget that you have a knee replacement sometimes or do yes. you know it's there? Yeah. Yeah. She's back to her day-to-day -day routine, noting that she can play her cello for hours without missing a beat. I'm able to sit and play for whatever the period of time is that I need. I can get up out of the chair no problem without any assistance. I feel great. 